Laren Trada is a perfect example of what the design process is about. To be able to look at products by waste and repurpose it to create something, this is a process that is extremely important. We're always as designers looking for new and more sustainable materials. The fact that she's found so many uses for a lowly avocado is really inspiring. What in her brain actually made her look at them and say, oh, I'm going to grind it up and make them into bricks. That's invention, that's, that's exploration. Hi, Jun Sara, welcome. Hi, Maria Elena. Thanks so much for having us at your studio. So you're a Parsons grad. I am, yes. I remember seeing these beautiful notebooks of your natural dyeing. Yeah, some years ago, you guys had invited me at the Healthy Materials Lab to show you my research on natural dyes, and I have continued this line of work on material research, specifically around avocado seeds, which I've been exploring from like many different angles. Oh, so cool, I can't wait to see it. So Maria Elena, before we go deep into this, why the avocado seed? So many years ago, I discovered that you could use avocado seeds to dye textiles, uh -huh. and I had an avocado tree back home. So back home is Venezuela. Yes, exactly. This made me curious what else I had ignored about this tree that I had in my backyard and many other plants. Mm -hmm. One summer, I had so many avocado seeds that I started to grind them into a powder just for volume purposes, uh -huh. and this was the result. Oh, wow. Beautiful. So this is ground avocado seeds. Yeah, exactly. To me, it reminded me of sand, so I wonder if it could also act as a construction material. Uh -huh. So I tried many different binders, and at the end, I ended up using a seaweed. This is sargassum seaweed, which is invading the Caribbean. Aha, uh -huh. sargassum seaweed. And seaweed is a carbon sequester, right? It is. And in this project like double because it is replacing cement, what, what we normally would use in cement, which as you know has a lot of like CO2 emissions. Mm -hmm. Same avocado seeds, uh, there is an excess in the world and it's replacing sand, which we're running out of. Uh -huh. So you just combine avocado seed and the binder of sargassum seaweed? Plus water. Plus water, so that's truly a healthy material. Mm -hmm. Wow, so many avocado seeds. I guess avocados have become very popular these days. Where do you get them? So I have partnered throughout the years with many different restaurants, sometimes even people who have given them to me. Oh, cool. And what would happen to them if you didn't take them? They would throw them in the trash. Huh. So you're basically diverting them from the landfill. Exactly. Amazing. And then how does an avocado seed get from being this to being this sand? So I'll show you now. Whoa, just that simple little machine. Yes, exactly. So what's the whole process? So I first wash them and I let them air dry for around a week because they're very moist. And then I ground them up three times, um, letting one week in between for the material to air dry because the more fine and the more dry it becomes, it looks more like sand. Aha. Uh -huh. So can we try it? Yes, of course. So you can put five of them in here. Five seeds? Yes. One, two, three, four. Five. I started out with the lowest setting. So as you can see, first it's almost like a beige color, like very light. Yeah. But slowly it's going to oxidize and become red. And the fragrance is also very intense. Yeah, it smells a lot. So. Whenever I have a big batch in the studio, people really comment. I bet. It doesn't smell anything like avocado. No. Amazing that oxidation happens so quickly. Yes. Wow. This color is really intense and it's very moist. It is, yes. Which is why I need to let it air dry for almost a month. Oh, wow. Because otherwise I could get mold. Mm -hmm. It's beautiful. I can see how it can become a dye. Yeah, exactly. So here are some of the applications which are in a way more like propositions. All these textiles have been dyed with avocado seeds. When you boil the avocado seeds, you can get a color kind of like this. Right. Um, but depending on the water properties, the color is going to come out a little bit different. Mm -hmm. These are so beautiful. So you're saying the water properties. So the fact that this is darker and this is lighter is because the water is different? Exactly. Uh -huh. So that's why you have all of these different waters? Yes. I started asking people to send me water samples from around the world and I have there from all over. Amazing. What um, else can you do with it? So you already saw the sand that we made earlier. Yeah. And with this sand mixed with the extract from this sargassum seaweed, 
we can make a clay that can be used to make bricks and different materials. Incredible. It yeah. feels pretty strong. Amazing. And with these same materials, I've also done this material that is almost like, um, like a leather. Wow, yeah. In a way. So this is also seaweed and avocado seed and water? Exactly. Wow, and what makes them different? I mean, this is a brick and this is a piece of leather. So I'm using like different proportions of the materials and also like different drying times. Wow, what amazing experiments. And what's this? So this is avocado seed oil. Mm. And I did a conceptual experiment last year um, running a car with this oil. You're kidding. At first it sounded like a joke, but then I remember that you can run diesel vehicles on vegetable oil. And I found a woman that she let me try her car oh my goodness. with avocado seed oil. <laughs> and did the car actually run off of this? It did. Amazing. Did you drive it? A little bit, yes. Oh, my, incredible. What else can you do with this avocado seed? It seems like you're exploring every every possibility. There are endless possibilities and something that I wonder was, can we actually create electricity from the avocado seed the same way that we do this potato electricity experiment mm -hmm. and it ended up working. And so just the avocado seeds is running this watch. Yeah, and it runs for like two to three days. <laughs> Amazing. Maria Elena's work is a clear example of how even in the smallest of spaces, innovation can be ignited. These regenerative materials show a huge promise for a future that has positive impact on the environment, a slowing of climate change, and ultimately making a healthier place for all people to live.